Colorectal cancer is a leading cause of cancer-related deaths globally. The condition is said to be growing concern in Nigeria. However, the country reportedly lacks comprehensive data specific to the nation's contest. Kanili Yus Salu, a guest on Health Watch show on Hills TV Abuja, reviewed this while shedding light on the prevalence and impact of this disease in the country. We do not have any uh, national data on colorectal cancer. Of course, we know the tertiary institutions, some of them have, uh, have already given us, uh, they, they do keep data uh, in few areas just in, for the, in the hospitals. So there are some uh, people that do research, some people that write papers, they try to collect this and, and extrapolate on the general population. Of course, that is inaccurate. We have epidemiology, uh, epidemiology unit in the uh, Ministry of Health. Even them, they don't have the data on colorectal cancer. So unfortunately, there is no data on colorectal cancer. But we know from experience, from the paper that are written in all these centers, that colorectal cancer is on the rise in Nigeria. Why do we know that? Because we now there are more diagnostic tools now with colonoscopy being available. We are seeing more cancers. We are seeing young, uh, young people, uh, 45 years old and, and, and less, presenting with colorectal cancer. So we know that uh, these indices indicate to us that, yes, colorectal cancer is on the rise. Responding to questions on how to curb the menace of this disease, Salo stressed that government needs to step action on raising public awareness regarding the disease. He also cared for increased investment on the health sector in the country. Government in the area of primary health care and health education to the population very key so that telling people that if they start seeing blood in their stools they should go to a doctor to, to see why they have that they should not just attribute it to piles also if they start losing weight from the health education they should start seeing their doctor government should empower these health centers do education through the minister of information through the minister of health and dispose this information across so that people will be aware that this is what is happening. If you get this kind of symptom, it's likely you may be cancer, you need to be checked out. If government can do that, of course, we'll now be able to uh, detect the cancer in the early stage, in the stage where it is curable, in the stage where it is operable, in the stage where it is less expensive to treat than when it is advanced like we have already. I already mentioned that it's more than 70% present late. It's very cost, uh, costly to treat when it's advanced. You have to use chemotherapeutic drugs uh, uh, and other things. So government has great work to do and also bringing the machines to treat this type of cancers in the advanced stages. Salu Feather gave insight into both the available facilities and treatment of colorectal condition. You have the problem is that we don't have experienced surgeons in this field, cancer field, to be able to do the proper surgery. A matter of, there's a difference between cancer surgery and just going to remove a lump from the patient and joining the intestine together. So one has to dissect the lymph nodes because of the risk of recurrence of the cancer. So it's important that a, a trained surgeon, which are in this country, there are very few colorectal surgeons, and they are located mostly in urban areas. So unfortunately, colorectal cancer is really not managed very well in our country because of these problems. One of diagnosis, two of availability of facilities. And also Even, surgeons. Exactly. Colorectal cancer mostly would need uh, like radiotherapy. But in Nigeria, we have about only three, cent or three or four centers that offer radiotherapy. Most of them are always breaking down. So you can imagine when I was working in London, a hospital will have about four uh, radiotherapy machines in one hospital in a city. In Nigeria, there are only four in the whole country with 200 million, over 200 million people. So you see, we have a lot of problems in this country on, in treating cancer. So it's, of course, we will always call on government if they can do something about it. Yes. Drawing attention to the absence of national data on colorectal cancer can be said a step towards addressing pressing public health issues. It also allows the need for sustained efforts in healthcare infrastructure development, data collection, and collaborative action. Esther Oshosoya, Hills TV, Abuja.